Today, we're going to target probably the biggest disruptor of resilience and sleep quality that there is. It is that nonstop head chatter that goes on through your head, whether you're beating yourself up over stuff you did before or worrying about what's to come or going through your to-do list for uh, the next uh, lifetime or thinking about completely irrelevant stuff. This is my Jedi mind trick for completely shutting that off like that. Join me. If you're looking to not just survive, but thrive in today's complex and chaotic world, then the secret I've discovered is finding those tiny little pressure points where you completely transform the system. It's not about working hard, it's about focusing on those pressure points. I'm Ravi Tangri and I produce videos regularly for you on these little pressure points that can transform your life. So please, if this is what you're looking for, subscribe, like, and make sure you hit the alarm so that you'll know when the new videos are coming up. And please share these videos so that um, we can uh, reach out and help all the people who need these resources. Now, today I'm excited because I'm going to show you my probably my biggest Jedi mind trick, which is about how to silence your self-talk. Boom, like that. And what we are going to do is um, we, we're looking at this for better sleep week. The thing is, this is applicable all the time because this isn't just when you're going to sleep. This also happens when you are um, uh, going through the day, you're beating yourself up, worrying about what's to come, all of these things, that self-talk sometimes, for some people, it never stops. It just goes on and on. Some people think that's who they are. It is not. You're the one in control. It doesn't control you, okay? That's the big news. So what I'm going to show you is the basic technique. Now, if you want to uh, really master it, I've got a free course available for you. I'll tell you more about it at the end. Just go to silenceselftalk.com and I'll get you all the information on that that goes into detail about how to master this. But I want to give you the fundamentals here. What this is about, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to ask you some weird questions, okay? But just go with me. Because if this made sense, if it was logical, you would have figured it out long ago. It, this is about finding new ways that work for you. And remember, it's those pressure points that shift everything. So, don't think about it. I'm not going to ask you some very weird questions. Just go with the first thing that pops in your mind. Do not analyze it. Just go with what pops into your mind, okay? So, you can get a sense of that self-talk in there, right? You can get a sense of going, you know, it's probably going, come on, does this work? Can this really work? You can't really shut it off. I can't. Whatever's happening. Get a sense of that right now. And don't think about this. First sense that you have. Where in your head is that coming from? Top, left, front, right, center, back, whatever. Okay? Now, what I'd like you to do is imagine this almost like a piece of string tied to that voice and imagine you could pull it almost as if you could right to the very top of your head. And imagine you could pull that voice right there to the top of your head. And just notice, is it the same or has some quality of it changed? For some people it stays the same, for some people it's not. So just notice, there's no right or wrong answer for any of this, okay? Now just imagine, almost like you could pull it on a piece of string, just pull it right to the very back of your head and just notice what happens there, okay? Maybe it's the same, maybe it's not, maybe somehow the quality has changed, just notice. 
Okay, now there's a spot back here where your spine meets your skull. Just imagine almost like you could pull that voice right into that spot, snuggle it right in there. There's a place where it just fits perfectly. You notice. It goes away. I don't know why this works, what the neurophysiology of this is, but if you move your internal dialogue here, it cannot operate. The way that they discovered this is they interviewed Buddhist monks who'd been meditating for 50 years. Now, they didn't consciously move it back there, but somewhere over 50 years, by hit or miss, they discovered that if they moved that voice there, it went away. Now we can do that without taking 50 years of trial and error and apply that for ourselves. So you don't need to move it to the top of your head or to the back. Just bring it right to that spot, wherever it is. Now, for some people, they uh, have a, they say it's not like there's a voice, there's, it's, it's like there may be many or different senses. So I say, just imagine there's a net that pulls all of that right back, and it's like you can cinch the net up and put it right in here, right at the back of your head, and it will and have the same effect. It'll just go away. It's like driving your car into a garage and closing the door. That voice goes away. Okay? Now, uh, if you really want to use this, you need to practice. There's uh, doing it once is not going to help. You need to make this very natural and you need to be able to do it almost intuitively. So you need to practice for about a week, five times a day. Uh, schedule specific times that you can do this to take a moment and just... And each time you do, do this. Flick your hand over your shoulder as you move that voice into that spot. And what will happen after a week is you won't have to think of moving that voice. All you need to do is this, and it'll automatically go there. And what happens for me when I do this is <sighs> my shoulders relax and, and I just smile. It's, it just feels good because the weight of that voice is gone. And I can be simply present. Now, something else you can do is if you're doing this five times a day, one time, what you want to do is um, expand that. So take five minutes, take a walk, you know, uh, do the dishes, work on a hobby that you have, and just be present. If it pops back, just sort of pop it back there again. And it's what you're doing there is you're building a muscle. And you can stretch that from five minutes after a week or two to ten and see if you can expand it more. If you have never meditated, this can be a doorway into meditation. And you can approach it easily because it's usually that head chatter that keeps you out of meditation. The um, other thing is that... Uh, when you're doing this, you may start to just become much more aware of your body, and that's being present, that's being mindful. And for those of you who do meditate, this is a doorway to going even deeper quite often. Okay? So this can be used at any time, but this is better sleep week. So we're applying this to when that head chatter is keeping you up at night. Invest that week to build this practice, to build your muscle. Then when you're ready to go to sleep, if that head chatter's um, still going and none of the strategies that I identified yesterday are working, all you have to do is and just go to sleep. If you wake up in the night and it's there, just do that. But you need to invest that week or two okay, to practice. This is not about taking hours and hours. This takes literally 15 minutes a day total. And 
you don't even do that in one chunks, it's in different chunks. So there's a lot of other things that you can do to fine tune this technique and to build the mastery. Uh, as I said, I've created this course, uh, silentselftalk.com. It's totally free. Sign up and I will take you through the steps and how to master it, the fine tuning elements, all of that, so that you can be able to master this and have a much, much better quality sleep because your head's not going at a mile a minute. Remember, if you want to see more of these videos that show you how to thrive in this crazy complex world that we're in, make sure that you subscribe, hit the bell so that you will be notified when the videos are up. And please like and share so that we can pass this on to everybody who can use this information.